All right, well, we're back. Uh, as you can see, and here, Kaz uh, Cozumel? No, Where NASA. are we? NASA is under, is under construction. There's a lot of construction going on here. And so, um, I'm trying to get you in the camera. Oh, keep moving sorry. Out. And, uh, and so it looks a little different than normal. So this is round two for us. We just finished at Junk New Beach. Went on board, changed. Now we're going to go to John Watling's and uh, possibly we're going to go to the Pirate Brewing Company. They have their own soundtrack that they carry with them. Huh. Think I should get my own soundtrack? Yeah, in the people shape wanna, of a ship speaker. People want to hear no effects while I walk down the street. A little bit of life is coming back here. There's, there's some shops closed for sure, but there are some that are opening up again and you know little stands on the street starting to come out um i don't know we were going to go to john wildings first maybe though adam's at the pirate brewing company can we pop in there and maybe he's right see in if there. we can maybe find him so we're going to go here it is the pirate republic brewing company let's have a look to here let's see if we can find adam well there Exactly. exactly where you'd expect to find this guy at the bar, right here. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing good. Doing good. Private Suburban Brewing Company. Yes. Supervise on Facebook, Instagram, Untap. Rate it or hate it. Best beer in the moments. All right. We're going to brewing, baby. We're going to we're going to find out. Although, spoiler alert, I, I already I already know it. Can you look at the camera? Hey, get boss man, get in there. Oh. What? Oh, you want? Hey, hey, you want? Forget about it. Forget about it. I don't do it. Oh, I get We got. Uh, you got the Belgian one here, mm -hmm. and the Pilsner here. I have a feeling I'm going to be drinking both of these, but. Um, well, I probably won't like either. He said this one was like blue moon. Yeah, yeah. And you told me that I might like blue moon. Yeah, but you've had stuff like blue moon that you didn't like, so I don't think oh. you will actually like it. But go ahead and try it. I'm gonna try this one first. Okay, that's more like a. You won't like that one because it's like an American. It, it tastes like beer. Yeah. It is beer. It's, I mean, it's <laughs> not like the worst in the world. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. I like it. I like that one. You like that one? Yeah. Something besides a stout that you like. All right, let me try it. I mean, it tastes like beer, but for a beer, I like That's it. Hey. hey, look. Jason <laughs> Morgan stunt double. Okay. <laughs> Forget about it. Where are you from? Florida. Oh, you local. You guys are local. Florida? Oh, yeah, yeah. West Coast, East Coast. Uh, well, we're West Coast. He's East Coast. Okay, so yeah. you're West Coast. Let me see. Don't say Fort Myers. No, no. Don't say anything. <laughs> I already know. Hey, shh. Hey, Claywater Beach? I didn't look back. Oh, close. close. Claywater Beach? No, not Tampa. That, that's too far north. No, that's that's where, yeah. That's, that's a, Gasparilla, that's baby. <laughs> Gasparilla, baby. Mm. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey, Gasparilla is fun. You guys did Gasparilla? Never done it. No! Yeah. They've never done Gasparilla. <laughs> I've cleaned up after Gasparilla a few times. <laughs> oh, 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 you have? I work downtown. We both work at the aquarium downtown, oh, so nice, nice, so we do nice. uh, we do cleanups throughout the year. And and uh, Gasparilla, we usually end up doing a cleanup afterwards. So. <laughs> yeah, we hear the cannons. Hey, wait a minute. Perfect. Nassau, Bahamas. Thank you. That's awesome. We're we're nice pirates. We are. <laughs> we, yeah, as I was say, we are. Arr. We nice pirates. We what's are. A, what's a pirate's favorite dish? Oh. Some say R, but I heard it might be the C. It's the C. <laughs> <laughs> this is the IPA, right? That's the American So if you're in Nassau, you got to come to this brewery. This is the only place Kimbra's found a beer that wasn't a stout or a porter that she likes. And it's the Belgian wheat there. I mean, look at that. That's a beautiful beer. It's um, it's really good. It's not like beery. Yeah. And, and my Pilsner, I'm not normally a, a Pilsner guy. It's okay. But this is a good Pilsner. Oh, and on a... On a hot day, it is just refreshing. And it's a hot day. I mean, it's good. It's a, She's it's, getting her beer it's taste. It's, we're wearing like, her down. This, yeah. We're getting a special tour here of the uh, Pirate Brewery. Oh, wow. 
Pirate Republic Brewery. Let's get that right. The beer is awesome. It's on point. I mean, even Kimber likes it. Even Kimber likes it, and she doesn't like beer. So, if you come to the Bahamas, come to Nassau, it's right by the ship. You gotta stop here. You gotta get get a flight. Try it all. Check it out. Amazing. Look at this. This is the, the this is the We're process. We're the number one craft brewery in the Bahamas, Pirates Republic. We are. My name is Marco Buda. That's uh, Tracy Morgan. I'm the <laughs> pirate man. <I am. laughs> so you see yourself with that scoundrel. Three. Uh, cook it. Cooks. Goes from the cooler. Brings it down. On the temperature. Self manageable. Two hundred. Down to like sixty five. It's our fermenters back there. From our fermenters, they sit depending on what beer we're brewing. And then from here to our bright tanks, so the storage tanks. Do you, tra do you transport all over the Caribbean or? Actually, we do all our beers that we, we local, only local. Only, only local. local, yeah. So I can only and, and, get it here. So all the parts. Well, actually, we, the number one part of town in Florida, name it, let me see. You guys are from Gas. You're from Gasper or the Tampa. <laughs> But it's St. Augustine. Saint, I was gonna say St. Augustine, probably. Oh, Saint Augustine. And, and people from Tampa like to dispute it's Tampa and not St. Augustine. So it's Tampa, no, it's actually St. Augustine, Tampa, and Key West. Yeah, yeah. Three biggest private towns in Florida State. Mm -hmm. And you, you do, you. So we, we are actually we're we're bringing out a brew hub in Lakeland, Florida. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, we were negotiating distributing our product before the pandemic. Oh, Pre-pandemic yeah. republics, so you know without without market oh. shopping market. Publix wow. Oh yeah, wow. bring it, bring it to Publix. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. So, if we're at Publix, I'd buy it all the time. Our <laughs> CEO, we, we still negotiate, you know, because yeah. of the pandemic uh -huh. era. Oh this yeah, era yeah, yeah. That we're in this confusion, mm -hmm. right? I should I should say? Yeah. How she knows? <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 trip advice of Facebook, Instagram. Especially <laughs> on Daft, okay? I represent Archie Bell. Nice part I am. It's got right. the uh, it's got the fantastic, the fantastic cruising seal of approval. Oh, that's so beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> this is my good friend from Missouri right here. That's right. Well, Florida now. But, yeah. Oh, um, FLA. <laughs> All right, here we are at John Watling's Distillery, Nassau, Bahamas. It's all about the rum man. Let's see if we can get a tour. I don't know if we can get a tour. Usually it's free. From the numbering to the labeling, as a max of three people that work down there on the regular, and they can get up to two thousand dollars in a single day. All right, Kimber is trying the pale rum. Let's see what she thinks. This is the one you normally would mix. Yep. Let me see what I what I think here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it'd, it'd be good as a mix. It's not good to drink by itself. Be good as a mix. Go for the amber one next. <laughs> the amber one is. Yeah. I mean, it tastes like. I mean, it's. I, I like it better than the pale, but it's. I mean, it's wrong. Which rum? Which one did he say was the one for Vito? I mean, it's. Um, probably the pale one. Yeah. All right, try the single barrel. This is. <laughs> Didn't like that one? Um, it's strong. Which one did you do? Single barrel? That one? The green one. Oh, that's the last one. The one. It's definitely got like a whiskey-ish kind of bite yeah. to it. I mean, I can like a wood, <laughs> like a woody flavor. It's a different flavor than the other two did, but it's. I mean, it's alcohol. I don't need. I don't drink alcohol. Straight. It's a, I finished that one. It was pretty good. And then this one. This is the Buena Vista. This one's okay? Yeah. This is the one he said you, you could just drink it straight. Oh, yeah. If I were to choose one of these to drink straight, it would be that one. 
I wouldn't drink any of them straight though. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> okay, there you have it. Um, good mixers. This one is kind of got a little bit of a whiskey bite to it, but not not exactly. This one is this one's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. This one's kind of a whiskey flavor. This this one's pretty smooth. Like you, I could definitely just drink that and enjoy it. So the rum were pretty good. Um, this one here was definitely one. It's definitely one that you could probably just sip if you like to sip rum. Um, Matt's up there, well you can't see it now. Matt's up there getting us pina coladas which is made with the amber here. So we're going to have some of that. And then over in there they have all the bottles stacked up on the table that you can buy. All right, so we got a pina colada. I got a pina colada, two for $19, pretty good deal. Oh yeah, you still like it? It's got the coconut. It's coconutier than the little sample. It's more coconutty. More coconutty? It's the same stuff. Oh yeah, same one with, yeah. But this is good, I like it. Good. Okay. Um, she doesn't really like that. Like well, yeah. I mean, that's the birthplace of the pina colada. Come on. But, but this is good rum. Yeah. No, I mean, I'm not saying I don't like it. I just don't like it as much. Yeah. And uh, Adam's getting a mojito. Waiting on it, and I'm gonna enjoy it. <laughs> okay. So the flight was 15 bucks. And yeah. then the pina coladas were $19 for two of them, for two of them. Very good though, very good. Um, <laughs> and your mojito, Adam, you said it's the best mojito you've ever had, you still you stand I, by I, that? I'm a uh, mojito drinker, that's the best I've ever had. So there you go, John Watlings, get a mojito. It was 14 bucks for the mojito, I think. I don't even know. Maybe a twist on the menu, funny. yeah. So yeah. I mean, that. total with the flight and that was 29 with tip. So there you go. Yeah. Delicious. Delicious. Check out John Wallace. All right, so we uh, we hit the Pirate Republic Brewery. You've already seen this. <laughs> you, we hit the uh, John Watling's rum, which is why hopefully the steady cam is working on this because I'm not that steady. We're gonna go back here real quick. And we're going back on the ship. Getting back on the ship, we're gonna get some lunch. Some big chicken. Big chicken. <laughs> All about that big chicken right now. I like the big chicken. All right, we are back at big chicken. And what did you get, Matt? I got a Aristotle. Yeah, that's what he got. Aristotle, big, the big Aristotle. Which is, it's barbecue it's a, and monster cheese and crispy onion pieces I can't even find the bottom and of bacon so it's big look at that puppy i'm gonna I'm oh and gonna, he added some pickles yeah i'm gonna use the socratic method just to eat this thing mm. does it fit in your mouth yeah mm. what do you think where would you rate that in the others that you've had look i don't think it's completely fair right now because of the bacon shortage. This is like gold right now on the cruise ship. But That's true, we've had a hard time getting bacon. <laughs> but it's um, it's darn good. It's darn good? I almost said damn good, then I realized my mom watches these and I can't say the word damn. Except you've so just done it. Darn. Except now you've done it twice. Hey, Matt, darn it. Matthew, I'm gonna tell your mother. What? I also got the big Aristotle. And it looks like there's a shortage on fries here. There's not, I just ate them all. Um, so yeah, their fries are really good. I'm gonna try it, but I can't do that while holding this. So let's, hold it? let's see if, if Matt has a hand. Look, I'm telling you, I've already told you, 
big chicken is a big deal. It's like the bomb. And I, I'm like, chicken's okay, but the big chicken is like, yeah, it's good stuff. That's a good sandwich. Uh, yeah. I haven't had any I didn't like here, but I'm, I'm still going to go with Shack Attack as my favorite. But this is probably my second favorite. That's good. I like the MDE better. Because it's boring and that's what I like in my food. And your men. No. <laughs> All right, I'm going to stop recording so I can eat. I figured you were doing that when I put my hand up. Oh. It's the end of the cruise and we know it. It's the end of the cruise and we know it. It's the end of the cruise and we know it. But we had a good time. <laughs> no, that was supposed to cheer you up. Oh. Yeah. We're, we're back at Port Canaveral and... Um, yeah, we had a great time, but we're back, so I don't know. We at least have one day before we have to go back to work, and I know what I'm going to do as soon as we get off the ship. What? I'm going to get a soda, a Coke, Coca-Cola product, Carnival. <laughs> yes, but 28 days until our next one. Yes. Do you know there's a movie called 28 Days Later? It's a zombie film. Great. <laughs> Zombies on a cruise ship. See? Why has that not been done? I always say that. Why has that not been done? Zombie movie on a cruise ship would be would be awesome. Would be awesome. Well, Matt, we're off the ship. We are off the ship. And we are driving back home. I am driving back home. We take turns driving because neither of us like to do it. Yes, and I film more, so it always looks like she's the only one that drives, but that's not really true. Is it? No, it's not. But I drive two places and he drives from places. That's how we've managed to make it work. Yes, I get the I get the crap end of the deal. <laughs> wow. I'm just saying. It's it's better when you're excited and you're driving to someplace. That's true. When you're tired and you're like, uh, I gotta drive to go home. Wow. Well, how was your cruise, Matt? It was wonderful. It was good. It was good? It was it? <laughs> it was a really good cruise. 28 days until our next one. You're like, it was alright. It was fine. I mean, it was a cruise. No, it was a very good cruise. 